is your deal, man. Cross. I don't know. Well, I'm not sure where it is. Hang on, let me ask around. We're gonna ask around and see. queuing up. We don't have time really to do it. Uh, but it's awesome. And yeah. All right. There's a line. I didn't even see the line there before. Platform nine and three quarters. All right. Just wanted to show you guys that. Thought it'd be cool. There is not unexpectedly already a uh, Harry Potter shop at platform nine and three four. We're on our way back. We're gonna go eat at the Hard Rock Cafe, which we'll be recording as well, at least getting some pictures of. And yeah, later. <laughs> this is our lovely outside view. This is the bedroom again. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. This is uh, we're almost done. Got two days left before we come back. Saw some interesting things today. Went on the uh, London Bridge experience. Which is kind of getting us the. Uh, oh, let me see this. This is a picture of us doing some crazy, crazy stuff. Just for fun, obviously. No one was injured or anything. Uh, hang on, that's gonna fall out. Let me fix that. And then I wanna show you the thing I came. England to the UK for, which I'm actually incredibly excited about and can't wait to show you. Sorry, a little shot of my uh, stuff there, I think, perhaps. Anyway, not relevant. This, my friends. Well, I'll show you this one too. This is a book I've just been looking for for a while. It's the second set of books by Glenn Cook from the Black Company. So far, so good. There. Piddle around down there. But this. My London. Copy. Of the Lord of the Rings. Printed by HarperCollins. Here's what I'm super excited about. One, look at the amazing the cover looks. A shot of that. Awesome. I like it. And it says, there's text on the back actually. Uh, in ancient times, the ring of power, the rings of power were crafted by Blah, blah, blah. Uh, we all know about that. We all know about the Lord of the Rings, etc. Um, 
This edition contains 50 watercolor paintings by Alan Lee, which serve, which were specially commissioned to commemorate the centenary, the centenary, whatever, of Tolkien's birth. It has been fully corrected and revised for the 60th anniversary of its first publication, and also includes Tolkien's appendices and maps in two colors. Right, the maps in two colors, of course we have here, and presumably on the back, yep. Okay, frontispiece, what, page one? Ooh, okay. Uh, does that fold out? Wait, hang on. There we are. Look at that. Look at that. Alan Lee, you brilliant man, you. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Does it show? Where's that list? The paper in this book is really strange. It's not bad. It's just weird. You know? It's not something I'm used to. It's almost like ugh, magazine paper or something. Back end. What? What happened to me? Gandalf. I'm sure, I'll find out here. I'm listening. Oop. 85. There it is. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. 117. That is, what is that? Old Man Willow. Crotchety tree. 134 is Tom Bombadil's cottage which is always cool uh, 166 is the unit Brie is that <laughs> That's crazy. One eighty three. One eighty three is riders. Dark riders, yeah. The Nazgul. Nazgul. Page two hundred, turn right to that one. Find sorta. That is Arwen. Arwen? What are they calling that one? No, it's a Luthien. Luthien Tenuviel. Nice. Feel free to pause as you, as you so desire to look at these in more depth. Here's the three trolls. Will, Bill, and Tom. Stone trolls, yep. Rivendell is on page 230. Many meetings. Just fabulous. 262. Wait, what? Council of Elrond. With Golem eating fish? Or something? It's weird. I don't really understand the reference there. Um, I, I I do recall that they talk about it though. 
294. Mount Doom. No, Karathras. The Pass of Karathras. Mountains. Mountains, Gandalf. I want to see mountains. The door. West Gate of Moria. Six is going to be the arches that they used, that they went through before fighting, uh, you know, the Balrog. Three forty-two. All right. Come on, Rain Lothlorien. This is the mirror mirror. What it's called. I should have been taking pictures of these, but it'll be alright. They're all in the video, so. A couple pages in, we get. What is it called? Uh, Keren Amroth. Then we get the mirror of Galadriel, 372. Oh yeah. Some of these paintings I remember. Tol Brandia. Hang on, how many of these are there? <sighs> okay. Let's see if we can find some more important ones. 503. I think would be a cool one to see. It's called the White Rider. I'm not going to look at all of them. You can go online. I'm sure the, the showing of the paintings are all there. I just want to showcase a few of them because there's a bunch in here. This is the White Rider. Okay. He's not even in that painting, is he? Am I missing that? Did I miss that? No. That's weird. Go back a little bit here. Four eighty six. Tree beard, some call me. Uradum. Six thirty. This one is probably the famous painting. Let me make sure that it is the path. The Taming of Smeagol. If it is, yes. Check that out. They mimic that perfectly in the film. Mm. What options do we have here? Two orcs, Mount Doom. Put 804. 804, 868, and 917. Aragorn and Eowyn. Page to turn. Battle of Pelennor Fields. Very important battle. And then, of course, uh, let's look at Mount Doom 964. And then we'll call this concluded. Mount Doom. It even looks like something from the film. How cool is that? And it's a beautiful book. It's Minas Tirith. And... Uh... Something. 
I don't know. On the back. So. It's a lovely Sunday night. We get things starting to wind down. We're going to be going to bed soon. And then tomorrow we're hitting the Masonic Lodge here in London. Um, and some other things, I'm sure. I'm sleepy. I think I got this packed up, get some stuff moved around so I can fit this book in there. Might be leaving some stuff here. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see indeed. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.